Welcome to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. Today we want to take a look at Phil Pieces SC640 meter. Uh, when I saw this meter on the shelf, the first thing that caught my eye was the, the swiveling uh, clamp that it has at the top. You know, one of the things when we have our meters and we're working on furnaces and different things like that, you're always looking for somewhere to hang it. And then once you find a place to hang it, you need to turn the meter around so you can actually read what it's saying. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's on the inside. So when you open it up, uh, we see the familiar field paste key case. It comes in a nice protective case um, for, the, for the meter. Comes with your uh, nine volt battery to go in there. You got, uh, what else you got in here? Got a set of leads attached to it um, and two holders, or two spots for your, for your leads to, to be tucked away snug. Um, and also a magnetic hanging strap or clip on the back of it. Now we'll go ahead and put the, the meter in or the batteries in so that you can see some of the, the other features of, of, this, of this meter. But you'll notice it has that swivel, 180 degree um, clamp. It's got a hold feature on there. Um, and also it's got an inrush um, current or your starting amps feature on the side as well. So let's go ahead and put the batteries in and uh, light it up and see what happens and see how it works, see what it looks like when it's all lit up. I went ahead and put the batteries in. You have to take out these two screws and the whole back comes off and there's a spot for your nine volt battery to go. The magnetic clip flips down, um, it has fill piece written on the back and plus your little holder. So now that we've got it all batteried up, we can turn it on, set it to any setting, you'll see it come on. We can push our backlight in case we're working in a dark area, um, now we can kind of see what our readings are. Um, and this, this meter has settings for, for volts, um, volts AC, volts DC, it's got a Hertz setting, it's got a microamp setting, it's got a temperature setting, uh, you can get both Fahrenheit and Celsius, uh, it's got a diode, diode testing setting, you've got your ohms, microfarads for testing capacitors, non-contact voltage, you got your continuity set setting, and then off again. You can cycle through, got your K-type fittings for your temperature probes, and then another really cool thing is at the very, very top of it, when you open the amp clamp, you've got a little light that comes on to help you see around wires that are in dark places. So this swivel head fill piece SC640 meter seems to be a pretty functional and handy handy meter. It's, um, I really like it. Um, it fits well in your hand. It's a big meter. It's a big hefty. You know, feels like it's a solid meter. I'm not you know if it, if you drop it, I'm not going to do a drop test on it. But if you drop it, I mean drop it far enough, it'll break. But it seems like it's it's pretty handy. We've got that neat little case that we can put our our meter back in, and inside of our case. We've also got a couple of little, uh, couple of little extra goodies. Uh, another set of leads are in here, uh -oh. or clips for uh, uh, clipping onto things if you want to um, that that clip into your meter as well. And then of course a little temperature sensor um, or temperature probe. But again, that's the SC640 fill piece uh, meter. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday, and we'll see you next time.